Afternoon. Woodworking corner, to quote Maximus. I want to have a go at making a wooden mallet. Uh, so somewhere or another, I, oh here it is. I rescued this piece of wood from the log pile out there. I'm going to see if I can set it up on the lathe. It's a nice piece of ash and it might just uh, sort of serve the purpose. Uh, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Do a rough bit of centre finding. Try and do it by eye. Something like that. Right, move you back. Right, as my colleague John Bowman says. Can the faint-hearted please look away now? Let's see what happens. Yep. So that was spinning way too fast for this huge log, which was so out of centre. So. What I'm going to do is fit the speed reducing gubbins. So this wheel acts as a reducing gear. So it goes on like that. Now then, somewhere I've got a belt. I put it somewhere sensible for once. Right, that goes down onto there. So you've got a sort of a complicated arrangement that with luck and a fair wind sort of significantly reduces the speed of the of the lathe. So what I can't remember is what size socket that needs. Unbelievably, it seems to be about 16 mil. Right, so that little operation's the equivalent of turning a little dial on a more modern lathe. Question is, does it work? It's been a useful exercise actually, because I've totally forgotten how to do that. But let's have a look. I'll give it a quick test fire before loading it with some wood. Get a load of that, pulley fans. Right, I should have done that in the first place. Let's have a go at remounting the, the piece. Contact. All together more mellow. Right, now it seems we've got the old girl swinging. Start to see where it's just too much. To do with a longer rest. Kit it up a little bit properly. So let's have another go. 
of making some chips. I'll shift my tools. See what I can do. Right, I'll try and take some off this big chunk at the end here. Look, my little rest is cracked. It was cracked. But it's obviously been cracked and repaired in the past. It's probably cast, so it's quite difficult to weld. So it looks like I'm going to have to investigate that and try and repair it a little bit better. But no worries, there's a spare, so I'll use the spare one. Partly so juddery because my farm made such an awful job of squaring it off. And I just packed it out with the saw. I think I'll also now put the rest a bit closer. Right, that's all the bark off. Got it down to a rough sausage. So I'm going to mark it out now to, to start to guide what I want to cut. So somewhere I made a little plan of what I wanted to do. I'll see if I can find Here it is. What I need to decide is do I want to, which end am I going to shape as the mallet head and which end am I going to shape as the handle well I say am I going to it's a pure case of which end am I going to attempt I'll have a think about that and mark it up
that's about right. So I need to do the same up here. gone a bit too far on that one but nothing to worry about the major dimensions are done so now I've got to try to shape it into the final thing um, let's see how I do Tiny bit of a sharpen. Well, you heard that instructions from a higher authority. Um, we're going out to the pub to have a drink with some friends. So I shall leave this for another day. Shame, it's just getting interesting. Right, back in the shop, as they say in the States. I've taken off the speed reduction gear because I hope I've got the thing so turned down now and it's rough shapes in place so that it's balanced so um i'm taking off the reduction gear so it'll go up to whatever the slowest speed is on the lathe without it which is still bloody fast so let's have a have a look and see what happens contact A bit nervous about this bit to start to turn it down to meat uh, so I'll maybe just have a little bit of a go at that now
Right, let's have a test fit on the handle. Maybe a bit big, but I've got, I want to leave room to sand it. I'll try the getting the head right now. Well, well, look at that. A bloody great ash wooden mallet. Got some tidying up on that end to do. And the tidying up there. That's quite pleasing, isn't it? Right, go and stick some oil on it. <laughs> 